Now to a bizarre and disturbing story involving a Bay Area couple who caught their neighbor on camera allegedly injecting something into their front door. They believe the substance may have made their baby sick. That neighbor is now facing charges. News Channel East Trevor Sohaki joins us to tell us what hazmat teams found. Trevor, I see this video and I cannot even believe what I'm seeing. It is pretty stunning, Jen. And a Tampa police affidavit said that that syringe contained both methadone and hydrocodone. Now, now, now those are both opioid pain medications, but the couple here said that they're still worried their baby might see some lasting side effects. I wish no one else has to go through what we went through. When his 10-month-old baby started vomiting and he smelled chemicals around his condo, Umar Abdullah said he had to do something. Then I actually double-checked. I started sniffing that place like a dog. He said he changed his water heater, called the fire department, still nothing. Then he said he thought about his downstairs neighbor, Zhu Ming Li, who kept complaining about noises from upstairs. Even during war, the worst enemies do not attack the opponent, the other party, with chemicals. He installed a hidden camera, and lo and behold, he caught Lee, appearing to fill a syringe with liquid and injecting it under his door. The first thing <laughs> that, uh, that came to my mind, my daughter and my wife, they need to be safe. Lee was arrested and charged with multiple felonies, including possession of a controlled substance and burglary. Are you worried your daughter is going to have some long-term side effects? I don't want to think about it. Hillsborough County's arrest record lists Lee as a student at USF. The school told Aid on Your Side he was a chemistry PhD student but is no longer enrolled there. In a statement to Aid on Your Side, Lee's attorney said that Lee pled not guilty and all the facts will come out in due course of time. A neighbor who supposedly, who's seemingly uh, a regular guy, he was coming and harming us with chemical. And that was very scary for us. And Lee was released on bond. His next hearing is December 5th. He's also facing other lawsuits from Umar over domestic violence, as well as his condo association for breach of contract. Jen? Well, this is terrifying. And I think a lot of people who live in a group setting like that are thinking, what are my neighbors capable of? Has Umar said what his family is doing now? Are they still living at their condo? Well, believe it or not, they are still living there. Umar said that they're looking for other places, but it's so difficult to find housing right now, especially the kind of housing that they are looking for. Jen? Trevor Sohaki reporting live from Tampa for us tonight. Thank you. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now back to the video. Now here's a bold statement. Back in December, just before the 2023 New Year, Japanese electronics and entertainment conglomerate, the Sony Group, Sony, made a bold statement kind of out of nowhere. But at the same time, yes, and thank you for sharing. They stated that Sony has the technology to make humanoid robots and quickly. Once it could, of course, determine and has identified how humanoid robotics could effectively be used. Quote, and I'm reading from an interview written by Routers, quoting the chief technology officer at Sony, Hiroyuki Kitano. So he says, quote, we will make an investment for manufacturing humanoid robots only when such investment is deemed necessary. We see a potential in humanoid robots, but we also believe other forms of robots are quite important as well. Interesting. Well, here's a reason. In fact, I can think of so many reasons. Giant boobs, human-like skin, the perfect bodies, artificial intelligence. Oh, I kind of just jumped into that, didn't I? Female robots, love dolls, 
our daily topic of choice on this channel. But in all honesty, and we'll move past this point, but with all honesty, which of course in turn will give the entire world a renewed quality of life, it is scientifically studied and proven robots improve the quality of life. Women would become more friendly and more willing to give birth. Hold on, wait, what are you talking about? But why? Why is that a bad thing? And have families due to male design robots or female robots replacing them in many areas. Birth rates would be up. Abortion rates would be down and economies around the world would be booming. Or how about just not depriving the world or holding back technology that will propel us into the future? In fact, if anyone could fine tune or master humanoid robots, I believe in Sony. In fact, I'm sure we have all watched a Spider-Man movie once or twice or 10 times over working alongside Marvel Entertainment and Disney. The Stuntronic robot, which is actually Sony Spider-Man, web-slinging and high-flying meters above the ground on set filming. While Hyundai Motors and the Boston Dynamics robots are running around doing backflips and parkour. Multiple companies, in fact, building humanoid robots. Xiaomi Cyber One, Tesla Optimus, Toyota, Honda, who has actually teamed up with Sony with the Sony car, a fella brand. And we know also who has been making humanoid robots since the debut of Asimo in the year 2000. I'm thinking the statement said by Sony in 2022 was said as if they had nothing to prove, but at the same time, no longer wanting to be passive. But how do you introduce a new humanoid robot after such a bold statement without coming across as overbearing? In fact, the answer to that is simple, with timing. The World Expo 2025 is set to take place in Osaka, Japan in 2026 when the Sony car, the Afela EV, will arrive. Sony has already stated that in 2025, they will start taking orders for the EV. Well, what better way to boost pre-sales with the unveiling of the new Sony humanoid robots, all of which could take place during Expo 2025. Well, until then, or when Sony decides to drop the news of some new humanoid robots, we can only speculate. But one thing is for sure, artificial intelligence, robotics, the metaverse, and AI have continuously been propelling us into the future, a technology time period paradise. Humanoid robots? We just need to accept them.